In Southwest Oregon, the 4th District, the congressional race this year is between Democratic incumbent Peter DeFazio and his Republican challenger, Art Robinson. And also someone else, uh, someone else who is anonymous, but who is spending a ton of money on this race. Nobody knows who they are. They are an entity that exists only on paper, paper filed by a Republican lobbyist in Washington. They've spent more than $150,000 already running this ad against the Democratic incumbent in this race, against Mr. DeFazio. Nancy Pelosi and Peter DeFazio made a mess of our economy. Their policies aren't working. It's time for change. Art Robinson is a research scientist, not a politician. And so on. <laughs> More than $150,000 running that ad to promote the Republican campaign of Art Robinson. Art Robinson, the beneficiary of this political intervention, says he has no idea who this mysterious rich group is, but he is very happy to have their help in his race. Joining us for the interview tonight, I'm delighted to say, is Republican congressional candidate Art Robinson. Uh, Mr. Robinson, thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you for yours. A am I correct in saying that you really have no idea who's funding this $150,000 ad buy that promotes your candidacy? That's correct. It, it, it would be illegal for somebody to try to give you a $150,000 campaign contribution to write you that kind of a check. Isn't this essentially an in-kind donation of that size? What's legal is the donations I've received from 3,500 people to support my campaign. I'm happy to have this help because my challenger, Mr. De my opponent, Mr. DeFazio, is spending more than a million dollars on the campaign and he has had more money than me for television and radio. I'm delighted that these people have helped to level the playing field. But does the fact that the donations to this group are anonymous, does that, does that bother you at all, just, just as an American? I mean, if you get elected in part because of the spending and then you find out it's from criminals or foreign interests or communists or something, wouldn't that, wouldn't that bother you? Doesn't it bother you that Mr. DeFazio gets half a million dollars for his campaign from special interests that he's done favors for in Washington? Well, the American the, people don't know where his money comes from. And your representation that this money could come from criminals is simply a way of trying to smear them and smear me by association. Well, who are this they, campaign who are is they? about who, who something else. Them? This campaign is about Mr. DeFazio's votes for big government, high taxes, and higher uh, things which impinge on our lives from Washington. It's about his failure to protect the fisheries and forests of our district for use by our businesses. But sir, do you, it's do, you dispute, do you dispute that? It's about his vote against medical, it's about his vote may, may, wait, hold on, for the I medical just ask you care question. bill when he didn't tell, he, it's about his vote for the medical care bill when he promised not to do it. It's about all kinds do, of things. You want to look into finances? Pete DeFazio ships his personal money to a tax haven in New Zealand. Sir, Does that do interest you? you? You're not interested in anything except this issue, which will divert the campaign from the main issues that American voters want to hear. What I'm interested in is what's new about this year. What's new about this year in American politics, which is that a group that does not disclose its funders at all, we have no idea where the money came from, has dumped $150,000 into your race on your behalf. And I find it hard to believe that as a civic-minded guy, as a guy who's been so publicly engaged as you have been, that you're not at all disturbed by the fact that all of those dollars are anonymous. Really? It doesn't bother you at all? If you... If you have been informing the voters about where the million dollars he's spending, he is spending came from, <laughs> and the million dollars that I will spend from individual donors, 3,500 of them, the fact that his money is special interest money, the fact that mine is all from individual people, except for if the 150,000 anonymous where the money from this that you won't talk comes to me from, about. then I would be concerned perhaps that you couldn't find out about where this smaller amount of money comes from. The 150 Your grand political, that you, madam. But dude, what do, you want to do is to talk yes about no. everything except the re issues in this campaign. What you want to do is throw mud at me. No, I want I'm, to tell you something. I want to know, the mud if, is I just want an answer. To I want to know an answer to this question. Ready? Yes. Do you care? Well, we'll see. Wait, I haven't asked a question yet. Do you do care? Do I care about what? That do I care the, about the, 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 hey, hey, the... Let me ask the question, then you can answer it. Do it's a good, I care it's a, about it works your really sarcasm? Well. No, I don't care about your sarcasm. Of, you don't what care I care about, about the, is oh, wait, wait, getting wait, the wait. issues to the voters. And this 
program of yours is simply a way of diverting the campaign from those issues. And of course, for Mr. DeFazio, he's a taking no. this issue out, so moveon.org will raise money for him. I'm going to take it as a no that you don't that care about the anonymity of, of, the more of the money the that's being of your used program. to spend $150,000 of ads on your campaign. I'm just going to take that as a no. Okay, so let's let's talk about your think, beliefs. Now, you are well known for your belief that global warming is my made beliefs. up. Let's do that. All right. Do you well, not want to talk about your beliefs? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. You're well known for your belief that global warming is made up, that that is not true. That's sort of the source of your national reputation to the extent that you have one. Your opponent, Mr. DeFazio, That's is also a belief. trying to... That's a re conclusion I reached as a physical scientist. I have a degree from Caltech. Many right. other men who have degrees from Caltech have agreed with me on this. Okay. We have, there are thousands of physical scientists in this country who, on the basis of scientific information alone, reject the idea of human-caused global warming. You wish to portray each of those people as a nut. I'll tell you, madam, there are thousands and thousands of them, far more than there are at the UN, pushing this bogus claim of human-caused global warming. You so like it as a political issue. Do you mind if I issue. ask you a question it's about a your beliefs? It's a dead scientific issue, madam. Do you mind if I ask you about your beliefs It's not on a this? belief. It's a scientifically right. your, proven... Your scientifically proven fact that it's not true. May I ask you about some of your scientifically, held, scientifically proven, absolutely true beliefs that anybody who questions is attacking you about? Okay. You have advocated that radioactive... Uh, you, you can go right ahead. You've already, you've already uh, put a big pejorative statement before the statement, but go ahead and ask anything you like. You have advocated that radioactive <laughs> waste should be dissolved in water and, quote, widely dispersed in the oceans. Quote, all we need to do with nuclear waste is dilute it to a low radiation level and sprinkle it over the ocean or even over America after hormesis is better understood and verified with respect to more diseases. Now, hormesis is your belief that low-level radiation is good for us to a certain extent? Is that right? The statements that you have just made are untrue. You, wait, what that was you a have done I was quoting is you. Take tiny excerpts from a vast amount of writing I've done on this scientific subject. I've not advocated any of this. As a I, scientist, we I've need written to, did you not about say this? these and many other possibilities. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that you are, are you saying you are that your not own telling the truth? Are you if saying you that you want to tell the truth? That's fine. I'm not going to answer to your lie. That's I, just more mud. I'm quoting from your own this newsletter. This is a complicated scientific subject which you are misrepresenting to your viewers. Is this you are not, misrepresenting did you not write a very this? complicated scientific subject and giving me 30 seconds to answer. That can't be done. You go ahead did and misrepresent you, did the Did you truth, write this? But it All we need to do with nuclear waste is dilute it. Did you write this? This is from quoting from your newsletter. There's no ellipses here. All we need to do with nuclear waste is dilute it to a low radiation level and sprinkle it over the ocean or even over America. I wrote, After hormesis is I better understood and verified and with respect of words to more on diseases. This subject. You have picked a few words and twisted them into an untruth. Okay, let me Do ask you about some you other want, words madam, from your you're own. You're just throwing mud. Let me ask you about some other things that I got. I'm trying to learn about you, so I went and read your newsletter. In your newsletter, Access to Energy, no, what your you're newsletter, doing is right? trying to smear me by barely. You're I'm trying, trying to, to get to know you by asking quotes. you about stuff you've Everybody written that I don't this understand. Everybody viewing program knows exactly what you're trying to do. That's your stock and trade. Can I ask it's you? Not mine. Can I'm a scientist ask, and a very I, good one. Can I ask you about something else that you've written in your newsletter, and you can tell me that I'm taking it out of context? You can ask you want. You're running the camera. In your newsletter, Access to Energy, you wrote approvingly of the idea that AIDS is a myth, right? You so I'm quoting you. The arguments presented against About the what? HIV. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't hear you. The ar what, I'm quote, quoting the you here. The arguments presented against the HIV hypothesis are sound. You wrote this. Median age at death for homosexual men dying of AIDS is 39 years, and for homosexual men who do not die of AIDS is 42. By comparison, the value for heterosexual married men is 75. This is evidence in support of the hypothesis that AIDS may be little more than a general classification of deaths resulting from exposure to homosexual behavior. So you're writing about you the like myth that HIV doesn't the cause date AIDS. On that quotation, madam, that is from 1995. Like Do you date? no longer believe that? Yeah, 1995. Fifteen years ago, there was still a debate over the cause of AIDS, and I was writing about that. I wrote about all the other hypotheses too. You, Fifteen years ago, the scientific debate was different than it is today. No, it wasn't. And I sir. wrote approvingly on many of the hypotheses. But you have picked a 15-year-old quote. Right. You've taken it totally out of context. I wrote a lot about this issue, trying to make it look bad 15 years later. Why don't you do something up to date? Well, let me. I want to know if you still believe this. Only government reclassification of more and more disease types as AIDS cases 
cases has kept the numbers of victims at politically necessary levels. You were a conspiracist that AIDS was a government conspiracy in 1995 at a time when a lot of Americans were dying of AIDS. You, you were advocating that it was made up for political purposes. Have you changed your mind about that or do you still believe it? No. No, you your, haven't changed your, your mind. Statement, this, you, you, just, you just strung several lies together in a row. I'm and I don't quoting have time from your them. own newsletter, sir. You just strung several lies together in a row because you infused vast amounts of editorial comment into this complicated issue. Did you say you only government reclassification? About my views, man. Well, let me you're ask you about. You're just lying here's about. Here's a them. direct quote. I only told government you you're writing about. A, you're reading out of context quotes from 15 years ago. Do you out no of a large longer body believe? Of information that I wrote, you, and I'm not interested in debating what was thought about. 15 years ago. What you wrote 15 years ago and published. Why Here's don't you the thing, get though. to the truth? These are Why your don't you just stop being so sarcastic These and ask are your reasonable questions? This, if you think this is sarcasm, you misunderstand the term. I can show you sarcasm.